my child will learn the majority language automatically in school. Or not? I'm here to be honest with you and tell you things that you might not know or hear from anyone. A common notion is to believe that children which speak other languages at home will learn the majority language, the language that is spoken in the country of residence, inevitably and automatically in school. No reasons to worry about that, right? Wrong. Hi there, Andrea here. Join me and my Cosmopolitan community by subscribing to this channel on my mailing list. Here you will find useful information, tips and practical advice to raise your multilingual children successfully. I've been working with multilingual children for about 15 years now and I can tell you that not one of them learned German automatically in school. I've taught in some occasions very bright children that picked up every word I said and thanks to their brilliant short-term memory they could retain and process the information fast, thus learning quickly. But not one child learned German without making great efforts. So don't believe everything people say. Comments like, children are like sponges, you don't need to worry about the majority language, kids will learn the language in school in no time, have only a grain of truth. But in my experience, only the ones that are lucky enough to get support from home as well stand out from the rest, and more importantly, are in more cases able to catch up with native speakers. I remember when I finished university, I was around 22 years old and I took my first job as a German teacher in a primary school in Zurich. So the first kids that I ever taught were three second graders that had just arrived in Switzerland. Zero knowledge in German. Two of them came from Argentina and one of them from Slovakia because they couldn't speak a word of German. They obviously couldn't follow their normal class. So they had seven hours intensive German lessons with me. These kids were wonderful, hardworking, interested, with supportive parents and even so they suffered the first years. I'm inclined to say that after probably two or three years they slowly started feeling confident and yes eventually the two Argentinian girls uh, got successfully integrated into the system. The Slovak boy went after two years to the US but it was not easy. It was actually really hard heart. They missed a lot of experiences, a lot of content, because it took them around three years to get their language level to a point where they could follow the class. Not to mention what a change like this does to a child's self-esteem. To say the least, the self-esteem of these kids was buried under the ground, was not existent for a while. Why? Because not having words to express yourself is tough, is isolating, is brutal. There is not a way to build up one's confidence without being able to express yourself to show what you're really capable of. So it took us years of hard work to build up their confidence and get these three kids to a point where I could say, okay, you are ready to walk on your own now. I also remember the parents of the Slovak boy being worried because after a year of intensive work he was still not saying a word in German. And you know what? That is normal. Depending on the personality of a child, kids start talking earlier or later in another language. Children start speaking when they are ready and what that means is that they need to have heard words and phrases before they start producing them. Scientists talk about competence versus performance. So usually kids develop a level of competence regarding their understanding first, which means that they can follow conversations and only once they feel confident enough and comfortable, they will start performing, speaking, meaning actively using that knowledge. In my experience, children that are rather analytical, strong in maths, with a tendency towards perfectionism, start speaking only once they know that what they are saying is grammatically correct. Whereas kids that are rather extroverted, a bit 
chaotic or even creative, um, give it a go earlier. They start producing the words and phrases in an additional language faster because they don't pay much attention to the correctness of what they are saying. So to them, it seems that it's much more important to be able to communicate, to express themselves than it being perfect. The bottom line is be patient. Just because your child is not saying anything yet doesn't mean that he or she is not learning. But be also watchful. If you are worried, find specialists to assess your child. Please give me a thumbs up if you're getting value out of this video. Thanks. Now, in this case, we're talking about children that were well supported at home, that were interested, bright, were developly, developing normally and so on. Those were perfect conditions to learn. This is not the case for every child. If children have, for example, some kind of learning disability or a dysfunctional home or languages are simply not their strength, then things can get rapidly tough. So here's what I learned from these and other experiences as a teacher until now. The majority language is in most cases going to be eventually the strongest language of your child. The later your child is confronted with the majority language, the bigger the struggle in school. To avoid complications, it's crucial that your child learns the majority language at least two years before starting school, if the majority language is the language of schooling of your child. The rule of thumb would be the latest at the age of three. If you don't speak the majority language natively, please don't speak it with your child. Find native speakers for that if possible. Make sure that your child is immersed a few days a week in places where the majority language is spoken. Find other kids that can play with your child and see if she is making progress or he is making progress. Use the most precious time of your child's life to build up the languages, which is from zero to six. If you're a family that will move to another country, just be aware of the huge hurdle a change of country, language and friends and home is for a child. Kids are tough and they can take a lot, but be aware that they will need your support more than ever to be able to adapt to their new home. So that is it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to my mailing list and this channel. Check out these other videos for more multilingual parenting know-how. Keep on doing a great job and talk to you soon.